cigarette breaks and littered butts are nothing new, nor is the idea of corporate greening. But what is new is when the company going green is the tobacco industry. Altria's Philip Morris Company, responsible for such brands as Marlboro and Virginia Slim, has set emission reduction goals for itself, along with a goal to have more environmentally efficient agricultural practices. Altria, for instance, uh, sells more cigarettes to kids than all the other brands uh, combined. So this is usually a smoke screen, a smoke screen to draw attention from uh, what their real business is and to change their image. Danny McGoldrick, the vice president of research at the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids, says that these actions by Altria and other tobacco companies are nothing new. They have a long history of these kinds of activities to try to change their image when in fact their, their core business involves selling a deadly product that addicts kids and again kills 400,000 Americans every year. But the test lies in more than the facts. The success of the tobacco industry's decision to go green also lies in the consumers. It would probably it would be a good idea if they could do that. I don't know if it would change the way I my habits though. If you're a smoker, you, that's really all you're thinking about is you're going to buy the brand that you'd like the taste of and probably cost are the only two main issues. Altria refuses to comment, so we can only speculate. The question we must ask now is whether tobacco companies are moving far enough to inform the public and clean up their act. I think on the surface, you, you, one could say they are, they appear to be like good corporate citizens and good stewards of their resources. But when you look at the broader portfolio of what they do, I'm not sure you can make that claim. Um, I think the facts speak for themselves. Today, 1,200 Americans die from tobacco-related deaths every day. But the tobacco companies are pledging to clean up its environmental act, and impact on consumer habits could change. In Washington, I'm Lisa Jacobson.